This is question 19 from the gate 2019 EC paper in which we are given a double integral of sin x by x and asked to find out what the value it evaluates to is. Underneath the question, you will find the title of the NPTEL course or video relevant to this topic. So in this question, we are asked to evaluate this integral, right? But of course the issue is that the inner integral which is in the variable x, that is the inner integral sin x by x, does not evaluate to a simple function, right? That can be later manipulated in terms of the outer integral y, right? So we'll have to, so the approach here will be to try and change the order of integration to dy dx, because now if you change the order of integration, that sin x by x need not stay inside there right and so this will evaluate to just x and this x and x will cancel it that will be x because the limits of the integral will come out to be 0 to x right yeah so that will be the approach over here so let's look at how we're going to change the limits of the integral so to change the uh, limits you will have to draw the following diagram corresponding to the original integral. First draw, first look at the inner loop limits, the inner integral limits which is from x equal to y to x equal to pi. So we draw those two lines first. Then the outer integral which is y equal to 0 to y equal to pi y equal to 0 is the x-axis and y equal to pi will pass through that point. So having just these three lines, the x-axis and the two x lines, x equal to pi and x equal to y lines is uh, enough to bound us in a region and so we will keep that itself. Now remember we have to go dy dx right that's the variable order of integration we want so all that's left to do is to figure out the limits so the inner integral is in terms of dy and dy has the following positive direction right going from uh, uh, from down to up so these two intercepts is where we will be getting our y limits the y limits because the inner integral is dy you need y limits you'll need them in terms of y equal to 0 to y equal to x these will be the limits that is the y intercepts or the y coordinates for those two points and then finally now that we've got our element of integration we slide it to the right right so the x intercepts for these two regions that is for uh, for these two points as we slide to the right will be x equal to 0 to x equal to pi so these will be the limits of our integral right so the limits are 0 to x and 0 to pi and uh, that is what we have shown here. You can see that uh, the original integral is here, right? And then uh, this is the integral with the variables changed 0 to x and 0 to pi. The limits changed 0 to x and 0 to pi. Then we can bring the sin x by x out because it's not a function of the variable of integral y. And 0 to x uh, dy will be x minus 0, so that's x x x cancels we will be integrating sin x from 0 to pi which evaluates to 2 and that is the answer so the answer to this question is 2